Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Friday, March 2nd. Well, the main focus today will be on the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. All indications are a major severe thunderstorm and tornado outbreak will occur later on this afternoon into the evening. The atmosphere will destabilize rapidly after some daytime heating, and a very strong upper-level jet streak will plow into that part of the country, helping to destabilize the atmosphere and set off, unfortunately, what looks to be like a widespread tornado outbreak. This is the latest from the severe storms forecast folks out in Norman, Oklahoma, in terms of categorical risk for severe weather later on today. You hardly ever see moderate, which is what is indicated here by the red shading. And not only do you see moderate, but they actually have high risk category right in the central part of Kentucky and the northern part of Tennessee. So this is the main area of concern later on today from Ohio and Indiana on down south through Kentucky and Tennessee and into the deep south, Mississippi and Alabama. Things are already starting to shape up in terms of some scattered thunderstorms, and we'll kind of take a look and focus in on this situation over the next few minutes. Well, let's take a look at the big picture first. This is the U.S. surface map for uh, the, uh, this morning. And again, it's kind of a classic setup here with very warm and moist air flowing in off of the Gulf of Mexico into this region of, of, uh, of risk today, the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, low pressure right here over the, over the state of Missouri, a strong cold front with some very cold air for this time of the year moving in behind it. So you have quite the classic setup with very warm and moist air and very cold air coming in behind a strong cold front. What you don't see on the surface map, but we'll look at in a moment, is the upper level support, specifically a very, very strong upper level jet streak that will help to fuel the fire here later on today. Well, this is a zoomed in look at the Ohio and Tennessee Valley in terms of the surface pressure as well as the latest radar. Here's that low pressure area right here over the state of Missouri with warm front extending to the east and the cold front trailing that front right here. And again, some scattered showers and thunderstorms already starting to pop here in the early morning hours. These will destabilize and become more intense as the daytime heating, heating progresses over the next several hours. This particular map has some purple lines on it that represent the 300 millibar way up in the upper part of the atmosphere, the uh, circulation associated with the jet streak. And right here is the main jet streak of concern. This is now poking into the Missouri Valley region right here. And this whole upper level jet streak will move on to the east and set off the severe weather later on this afternoon. So the combination of some very warm and moist Gulf of Mexico air on the south, cold air coming in from the north and west, and this jet streak right here, which will translate across this region later on today, will really set off a lot of this widespread severe thunderstorm and tornado outbreak later on today across the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. Well, let's look at the NAM, North American Mesoscale Model, for tonight, tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow night. By tonight, be quite a strong storm system now heading up into the uh, Great Lakes region. Strong warm front moving in towards the mid-Atlantic region with the trailing cold front still out over the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. Now, we'll start getting into rain very late this afternoon or early this evening across the D.C. region and then early part of the evening across Philadelphia and latter part of the evening across New York City. And this would be basically warm frontal rain for the, uh, for the first part of this system. Overnight tonight, we'll get periods of rain, maybe a few thunderstorms mixed in. Some of the rain can be heavy. So it'll be quite a soaking rain associated with this warm front in the overnight hours tonight, beginning early this evening for the most part in the Mid-Atlantic region. Temperatures could actually rise later on tonight as we get into the warmer air mass. Now by tomorrow morning, that strong storm system heads slowly to the north and east, now over the northern part of the Great Lakes, and the cold front is just now sweeping into the Mid-Atlantic region here, and we'll have some Continuing showers in the morning, maybe a couple more thunderstorms. Winds will be gusty, both ahead of the front and behind the cold front during the afternoon hours. There may be actually be some clearing later on in the afternoon tomorrow as that cold front sweeps through off the east coast. But there will be some gusty winds out of the west behind the front, perhaps up to 30 or 35 miles per hour or so. So by tomorrow night, this is the NAM forecast for tomorrow night, Saturday night. The cold front is well off the coast by this time, and we're in the drying and cooling phase of this system. 
There will be some gusty winds into tomorrow night, and temperatures tomorrow night will get quite cold, and it will turn even colder by early next week. Monday, in fact, will end up being some 20 de degrees colder than tomorrow's highs, probably in the upper 30s to low 40s throughout the Mid-Atlantic region compared to the well up in the 50s to 60 degrees in some parts of the Mid-Atlantic region tomorrow before this cold front comes through. Now, there are some signs that the front will stall along the coast and a wave may develop, and we'll have to monitor that over the next couple of days. That could throw some rain or snow showers our way early next week. But for today, a severe thunderstorm and tornado outbreak in the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, and then this system in a weakened state moves in the Mid-Atlantic region tonight and tomorrow morning, and we'll have occasional rain throughout the Mid-Atlantic region tonight. Some of it can fall heavily at times. There can be a few thunderstorms mixed in. That rain and thunderstorm threat will continue through the morning hours with some gusty winds. There, there can be some clearing, though, tomorrow afternoon as colder air starts to move in. Stay tuned to the SIweather.com for any updates later on today. I'm